this idea that aging is somehow separate to diseases. That will be history, because what's going to cure that uh, way of thinking is the fact that treating aging treats diseases. Mm -hmm. So that I would bet on. But uh, uh, I, I would also bet that there are going to be uh, amazing things that we can't, we can't possibly predict uh, now. Michael? Well, I have a completely different point of view, as, as both of these gentlemen know. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, the game is over for conventional 20th century gerontology. It's dead. It's like Aristotelian physics. It got displaced by a completely different kind of physics, just as Einstein's physics replaced the Newtonian style of physics. I think we're now in a completely new scientific era with respect to aging research in terms of the actual science. And by actual science, I mean when scientists can, in fact, predict what's going to happen when they walk into the laboratory. My career has been based on planning experiments derived from formal mathematical theory, which then actually work every time. It's very unlike what you do in your lab, Lenny, when you truly it's walk in and don't paradigm. know what's going on. And in, in the... I wouldn't put it that way. <laughs> well, I, I, I'll, I'll, just, I'll, just take, I'll just take you at your own words. I'll just accept your own words, as you were saying them earlier. See, for evolutionary biologists going into experiments on aging, there aren't actually that many surprises because of a very powerful theory, which is articulated in the book, Does Aging Stop?, available next week. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so for us, what we feel is really exciting is we now know that aging stops, we know how to manipulate it in the laboratory, and we're looking for ways to make human aging stop radically earlier, because right now when it stops, as Judy said correctly, we are in terrible condition. Mm -hmm. What we'd really like to do is to stop it in our 60s. Mm. And that's the project we're now working on. And for us, that is as straightforward as building atomic weapons was for the physicists of the 20th century.